Sonder, the realization that each random passerby has a life as complex and vivid as your own. Life is a constant course that never stops, where the art of nature is constantly running in the background. Trillions of cells making up each distinct being, with history dating back for hundreds of millennia. The chances of being born on this planet are so close to zero that it's practically a miracle. It's a beautiful world filled with beautiful creatures, interacting and learning from their environment. And beyond the limitations of what we each know exists, everyone has their own sphere of consciousness, where the thoughts of their relations, responsibilities and dreams reside. People are coming and going and time passes by. Shrouded stories and perspectives that you'll never know. Some are experiencing their first and some their last. The fact that you've passed a particular stranger is a matter of chance. So sometimes it's worth taking a glance, observing others in their natural path of life, wrapped up in their own worldview, just like you and I. Cause and effect like a butterfly. Everybody has a story. Now, what is the real world? Some people have the theory that the real world is material or physical. I say it's made a kind of a stuff. Other people have the theory that the real world is spiritual or mental. But I want you to point out that both those theories of the world are concepts. They are constructions of words. And the real world is not an idea, it is not words. Reality is... You will find, therefore, that if you get with reality, all sorts of illusions disappear. And I will mention several illusions that have not this kind of existence. Let's begin with some very down-to-earth ones, like money. Money is a very useful method of accounting. It is a measure of wealth in the same way as inches are measures of length and grams measures of weight. You cannot eat money. You could have a fantastic quantity of dollar bills on a desert island and they would be useless to you. Then another thing that bothers, bothers us is time. Most people nowadays say, I have no time. Of course you don't. Because you are not aware of the present. You know, the present is represented on your watch by a hairline that is as thin as possible as is consistent with visibility. And so everybody thinks the present is instead of Now, the present is the only real time. We think ordinarily of the present as an infinitesimal point at which the future changes into the past. And we also do a terrible thing. We imagine ourselves to be results of the past. And we're always passing the buck over our shoulders like uh, when God approached Adam in the Garden of Eden and said, 
Hast thou eaten of the fruit of the tree whereof I told thee thou shouldst not eat? And Adam said, This woman thou gavest me, she tempted me, and I did eat. And God looked at Eve and said, Hast thou eaten of the fruit of the tree whereof I told thee thou shouldst not eat? And she said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And God, out of the corner of his eye, looked at the serpent. The serpent said nothing. 